CBS 46 with an update now on a local teenager accused of being involved in the D.C. riots. Bruno Cua of Milton spent the day in court today. CBS 46's Melissa Stern shows you what happened. After about two and a half hours in the courtroom here, they took a recess until Friday after a cross-examination of Kua's father took an interesting turn. While no cameras were allowed inside the courtroom, a sketch artist drew this picture inside the federal courthouse Wednesday afternoon. A solemn Bruno Kua walked in in shackles as his parents looked on. The attorney representing the government in this case went first talking for nearly 45 minutes and showing evidence against the 18 year old, including photos of him holding a weapon inside the Capitol building. Kua's attorneys went second. Kua's father opted to take the stand to read a statement. By doing so, he opened himself up to a cross-examination. During that time, he couldn't say how many times the police have been called to their home because of their son. He also admitted he and his wife were at the Capitol with their son on January 6th. He says they somehow got separated when his son went into the Capitol building. When asked if they discussed what happened inside the Capitol on their way back to Georgia, Kua's father took the fifth, then decided to leave the stand. The judge presiding over the hearing says this was, quote, concerning and doesn't help when making the decision as to whether Kua's parents are good custodians. Instead of making a decision on whether Kua should be released on bond, the judge advised Kua's father to get his own counsel before making any further statements. The Kua's will be back in court here at 3 p.m. on Friday. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.